What up, guys? We are here with my main man, Eddie. Hey! <laughs> it's Visa Boy, the coolest Guido I know. All right, guys, so you guys saw the big mess that I had here before when I had the risers installed or the wiring exposed. This stock part was obviously not on it. They couldn't figure out how to put on it. But that's what we have a wizard tech genius right here who's gonna go over everything on how he was able to put everything on and fix it. So these risers are from Arlen S in case you guys are not still familiar. So we got the Arlen S branding right there. Um, this is a top clamp on it as well. Um, and then we got the thrashing uh, bar here on top. Now, like I said, I'll post up a picture right here so you guys can see the before and after, but obviously such an ugly look. I even had a bar bag there before just to hide that away from just the vision because it was just horrible. But this this is like something that's like out of factory. Like it looks great. So, Eddie, what, if you want to explain, what did you do? From the start of this, you, you pretty much have to do some of everything as, as normal with any uh, riser upgrade. So everything pretty much had to come apart as far as the risers go, and then a lot of measurements had to be made in order to get this exactly where you need everything to be. Because for this particular job, you need it done. You wanted a whole cleanness of of, of a perfect clean look, install with yeah. It, along with fabricating a bracket block ball plate for the original location where the gauges go. So in this event, I was able to fabricate a fa block off plate. Had to also give protection to your risers and give an original OEM look as well and that allows you to still utilize the RNS locked assembly risers and switch panel plate without any uh, issues so these are the cutouts that he did right here because no. before no you, you didn't cut that out uh, this section here yeah cut out to allow for enough clearance and a section here with a lock assembly that allow for clearance nice so it's a tight fit when it comes to this lock assembly it rests up against the, the bezel, and uh, that section there would need to be cut straight down the middle. I like this all in that stuff. Like this, whatever's on top of this, because that's not that's not all we have, right? That's from Arlen Ness. Yeah, that yeah. looks dope. Yeah, that's, that's for the locking. Yeah, that's pretty good. It, it, everything just looks like factory stock, man. That's the whole goal. I just, uh, I, I don't know how, I understand how a guy like you could do this, but then... <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't do this for me before when they installed it. I don't, I don't, I don't get it, man. Um, guys, I'm going to be linking up Ed's information down below. He works on cars. He works on all type of bikes, sport bikes, Harleys, and loves to do a lot of custom work. So if you guys are in the Jersey or New York area, hit him up. His Instagram and email is going to be linked down below. You guys can hit him up. Pretty nice guy. and He's pretty fair with the prices. <laughs> pretty fair. Um, nah, amazing job. I am like extremely, extremely happy with this. Like I was, you guys saw that last video. I was like, eh. I was, you know, kind of upset with that. But everything is just super clean now, man. We even get on the bike now and see if you guys give you a nicely clean look on how everything is. Once again, these gauges do not interfere with the screen. The screen is like literally right above it. Um, it's like the perfect setup for me. Um, once again, I'm also 5'7". One thing that I wish I did uh, was maybe go with a higher bend for the bar, just to have everything up here kind of. Um, at first I didn't want that, but now I kind of wish I did. But who knows, maybe I might change that later on. But amazing work, clean work as you can see. Great job. Boom, and this guy, cause you you put you put me on to you put me on to Eddie, man. Now we can all be be best friends. And <laughs> pizza. That's right, at Nino's, the best pizza shop in all fucking Jersey. <laughs> now, um, so Eddie also has done a ton of work on South. Matter of fact, I haven't seen your low rider ass yet, man. We gotta do that. But you guys seen his street glide? He's done a ton of work on his street glide, and then the low rider ass as well. We'll match him. I'll put it next to mine give you guys a little side by side comparison because they're both so different at the same time um so we'll do that um but yeah that's gonna be it now that we're on the bike you guys could get a nice little clear view of what everything looks like i'm not sure if through the camera you're able to see uh all the information on the screen as i'm looking at it now but yeah like i said before pretty clear it doesn't interfere with anything damn man this guy did such a good job with this like i'm so happy man I'm, I'm just happy I was able to even get the stock piece back on it because everything, all the, this whole stock piece was taken off when they did the rises and told me they couldn't put it on it, which was mind blowing to me, but whatever. But I'm really happy this whole thing is back on. Even just having this little addition right here, it just, it look, it makes it look more premium, man. Awesome. Awesome.